welcome to the section plotting change we will start with seeing how to plot time series data we first load the ggplot2 module this is the data set we are going to use in this it is a inbuilt data set it's called economics let's see what kind of data it has so I, as you can see down here it's a time series data set with date and few other data points we will be using this particular column to demonstrate the time series time series data set plotting we call the ggplot function we pass in the economics data set we set the x to date and then we add a geom line plot and pass it this particular column which is actually unemployment percentage as the y axis we then set up some titles subtitles etc for this plot Let's run this, plot our first time series data. Okay, so here is our first time series data plotted on a ggplot2 plot. We have down here the years from this particular data set and the unemployment percentage over here. If you see ggplot2 did most of the heavy lifting itself without we doing a lot of coding to make this possible. But we can make this even more easier there is a library called gg45 that uses ggplot internally to make it even more easier to plot time series data if you don't have it you can install it with the install.packages gg45 once you have installed it load the package to plot time series data what you need to just do is call the autopilot method from gg45 and pass it in the data set it will automatically recognize what do you want to plot so for this particular example we are using air passengers sample data set run this and we have our time series data with a very minimal code we can of course do some customizations to this so we call the autopilot method again pass in the data suppose we want the line as red and uh, line type as dashed can do that by passing it those as parameters run this again time series data on the plot has changed we can also add a geometric analysis to it by calling ts.geom and passing the parameter bar here we are filling the bars with the blue color let's run this to see how this will work and here we have the time series data from the air passengers using gg45 this concludes this video